Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we're here. This is going to be week number seven, I believe, of the NCP, and we are up against Grandmaster D-Ray and his LA Gorilla Tactics. And this was a really difficult matchup for me, but we're just gonna see whatever we can do. I'm just gonna get right into this team preview here. Okay, so right away, we will see the Melmetal. Melmetal, Mantine, Serena, Doug Trio, Haunter, and Gudra. So that would mean no Darmanitan. No Darmanitan is hilarious. No Lulu Raichu. No Pangoro. No Pangoro was um, mildly difficult. No Clefairy. But let's see. I honestly don't even remember the team that I built terribly well. But you know what? We're, we are going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it. Um, hmm. What would he be inclined to, to lead with? He could want to lead off with Dugtrio Rocks. You could want to lead off with Duck Trio Rocks. Hmm. Part of me would want to just lead off with a Dragon. No. I think the best lead would either be the Milotic or the. Or the. Eldegoss. And I think Milotic is best. We're going to go with that. I think Duck Trio makes the most amount of sense for a lead. And before I forget, I'm going to try to take a screenshot of the team. I might run out of time here. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. I got it. Okay. So, Melmetal makes a lot of sense. Um, I think it's I think it would be between Melmetal and Doug Trio, frankly. I think those would probably be his best leads. Serena, possibly. I don't know. Mantine could be fun, but I doubt it. I don't know. Mm. There is the Duck Trio lead. So, my Lodic was probably the best thing that I could have let off with. And not only will I get my. I could try to trap him in with me with Whirlpool, and that would um, get a lot of pressure off on my. Pokemon to not get trapped in as well. I might go for it. I'll just go for it. And whatever wants to come in, I could trap that as well. Unless, uh, unless obviously it's the Mantine or the Serene or whatever the case may be. But I think this would a prevent obviously um, being revenged. Does withdraw and goes into the Serena. Okay. Okay, that's totally fair. So, from here, I mean, the obvious play would be to to want to go into Arcanine. And I think Arcanine makes a fair amount of sense here. Hmm. He could U-turn out, which would be unfortunate, and that would get in the Duck Trio. It honestly makes me want to bring in the Caparaja, which I might actually just do here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I don't. I honestly don't even remember how much speed this Caparaja has for, for certain threats of his. But I'd be surprised if this arena has the room um, on its set for high jump kick. I guess we'll see. There's the Power Whip. And that does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. I don't know if I should scout out for that. But... No, I'm just going to go for the Heavy Slam here. We will see if it has a high jump kick. And if it would go into it... It does. Okay. I mean, it's not it's not even that surprising that it has a high jump kick. But it's surprising that he went for it with my Dragapult potentially in the back here. But I think... I can just go into my Dragapult now and try to U-turn out here. Um, Fire Blast is a potential Oko. Obvious switch in would be the Mantine. Also Gudra. I'm going to U-turn. I would imagine he would want to switch out here, but I don't know. 
could potentially have a knockoff. Knockoff would be not great for my team just in general. But... I don't know. If this thing stays in, then it's almost definitely a knockoff, I would have to think. Um... Yeah, that high jump cape play really messed me up because that was a reasonably easy... That was a reasonably easy... Uh, just going to the trio. That was a reasonably easy, um... Dragapult switch in for me if I wanted to take it. And that does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. Now, I don't even think I have anything that outspeeds this thing. I don't, I don't think I have a Scarf on this team. But I could go directly into the no that doesn't make I don't think that makes sense would that actually put it in range Doug trio let's assume that it's a scarf Doug trio with Dragapult yeah with Dragapult doing that much I think that might actually Ugh. it looks like it's iffy for being in range of Extreme speed here. But it feels like a risk worth taking. I might just take that risk. Let's see what happens. But that U-turn damage makes me think that, th that this is very close to no bulk. It makes me think that it's very close to no bulk. And if it is... Then it looks like it's right... Around the cusp of being KO'd to extreme speed. And he doesn't... He, we, he might honestly switch out. Alright, do we get this KO? We don't. It wasn't even particularly close. Yeah, no, I was way too aggressive on that play. But, um, it looks like we'll be okay. It looks like we'll be okay. For now. At the very least, uh, this would keep rocks off of my side of the field if he decides to switch out now. Um, I can't be sucker punched. His only real switch in, I guess, would be Haunter. But in front of the Haunter, I can make some plays. But man, letting... Letting the Comparaja go down really hurts, I think. It's really pretty not good. But regardless, um, that'll be the Gudra. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Now, I would definitely like to gauge damage here. This thing could have Earthquake, but I am really defensive. And would it be worth it to try and get a play rough off here? Let me see. I mean, play rough should be a two at KO here. And I might just go for it. Why not? Let's go for it. This is being played very late. Like, right, so it's close to midnight for me. And um and I'll be honest, I was getting uh mildly sleepy, like not long ago, but I but I had to wake myself up just to remind myself that I had to uh get ready to do this. I probably did that thinking that I had the Thinking that I had the morning sun, but uh, fun fact, I don't. So, uh, um, uh, on a, obviously this is very, very specially defensive because I think it's either very often, well, it's slower, so it would most likely be specially defensive. Um, what would that be for? What would that most likely be for? Oh, probably to to one v one my dragon fall. That that would make um some sense here, or it could be hydration. Oh. I bet you he's 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 seen a lot of my uh, toxic shenanigans, and and um, this is a hydration Gudra. So that so being especially defensive and potentially being hydration Gudra really opens up the door for my Dragapult to do a lot of damage. My my Dragapult is still specs, and it can do a lot of damage here. If the Melmetal comes in, that would be pretty bad for me. But we just have to deal with that. We just have to deal with that. Does in this thing? Oh, it's for the hurricanes as well. Do I have a switch into hurricanes? Do I have a switch into hurricane? I don't really. I really don't. And I don't have wild charge, right? No, I don't. What would be my switch into hurricane here? I could probably go into this thing and get off a really strong, um, a Specs Hyper Voice, because I really don't think there's, there are going to be many opportunities for me to get 
big hits off um, on this thing. And I don't think this is going to be a 2k. Unless this is super offensive. Yeah, yeah. Unless it, it is life orb. So if it was specs, I was going to say, unless it's specs, um, I don't think so. But yeah, if it was specs, then that would have been bad. Now, I'd be curious. I I think Melmetal is a really easy switch for him to make here. Or even Doug Trio. Even Doug Trio is super, super easy. I'm going to I'm gonna baton pass here. Or Haunter. I mean, it could be some crit. Some crazy does stay in. Okay. I mean, I'm making some really bad calls. That, yeah, that's a KO. Okay, that's pretty bad for me. That's pretty bad for me. I can bring in the Dragapult. I can threaten Thunderbolt, which I, th I think forces me to click U-turn because of the fact that, um, because of the fact that the D Doug Trio is such an obvious play for him to make. But what I think I can do... If, if, he, if he does stay in, then I have to go into... I have to go into... I have to go into... My Lodic. I don't think there's any way around that situation. And I also just have to hope that that... That that, um... Gudra isn't Damp Rock or something like that. But this could, yeah, just very potentially be pretty bad for me. This could pretty potentially be just, be just bad for me. I don't know. I really don't know what to make of this. I've made so many bad plays, and I mean, like, we've both been playing really aggressively, but um, I've just been making ag aggressive plays at, at exactly the wrong time. There's the Ice Beam. So, I believe I'm going to take this. Oh, I just barely take it. But if I click Thunderbolt, then that would have been a KO. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just making the wrong plays, but I could have taken that. I could have KO'd this thing. And, I don't know. I'm putting myself... I don't know. I'm putting myself in a really bad spot. This is a really bad game for me, overall. I mean, it's not something that I can't pull back, but it is something that is very bad. It's something that's pretty darn bad for me. I'm going to just click Toxic. If he, if he decides to bring in the Serena, I don't think I have to care that much. Um... It's just bad. And like, how? Like, this is just so bad. And I get confused. Okay. Ugh. I've made every bad call that I could have made, and I get hit in confusion. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is... Yeah. Um, see, see, the funny thing is, Arcanine, I think, can beat the... Put the team on his back. But... Ugh, this is just so bad. This is just so bad. All right. All right, I'm going to figure something out. It should be the last turn. The crazy thing is, is that Arcanine can put the team on his back. Um, Haunter would have to be scar- Yeah, Haunter can be easily scarfed. Haunter can easily be scarfed. All right. We're going to see. We're going to see. We take one. Are we going to get are we going to hit ourselves again? Please just don't hit yourself again. Please don't hit yourself again. Okay. Okay. That's fine. As long as this ends, I can't get 100% hurricane anymore. Um, I probably should have just clicked Leech Seed. He can just Ice Beam me, though, which is pretty bad. He can just Ice Beam me. And if he has Manual Rain... I, actually, have I only seen three moves? I've seen Ice Beam, Hurricane, Scald. I've seen Ice Beam, Hurricane, Scald. Um, hmm.
What I can do now... I can get an extreme speed off. Huh. Let me think this through. No, I think... Yeah, I think the best way to do it would be to... No, what is the best way to do this? I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Fuck. How do I do this? The Haunter is bad. Because the Haunter is definitely scarfed. And I don't want to lose the Haunter. I definitely don't want to lose the Haunter. If I U-turn into... Hmm. Okay. We're just going to go for it. it if, if the Haunter comes in, then the Haunter comes in. And then from there... From there... The Haunter has to come in. Which sucks, because I have no counterplay anymore to the Haunter. And if I go into... And I can't really go into... I can't really go into... Goes into this. So this thing would have to be Sucker Punch. This thing would have to be Sucker Punch. Or Scarfed. If this thing is Scarfed... If this thing is Scarfed, then I massively misplayed. Because then... The right play would have been always to go into Arcanine. But I think... I think it's more likely that this thing is just Sucker Punch. I think it's just Sucker Punch. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, so this g gave me the same result, except it puts me a little bit ahead, because it will allow me to click Extreme Speed. And um, it will get me back up to full, so, so give me an, an extra round of leftovers. So having it play out this way was more or less optimal. Um, he could go into Serena and pop Queenly Majesty on me. But yeah, it, it doesn't make the most sense of the ball. I have to get through the Haunter, which is going to be bad. Um, if I can... I mean, theoretically, Arcanine beats the other two. But it's just the Haunter that's going to be an issue. I don't know how strong the Haunter is. I mean, I guess the Haunter would have to be Scarfed, right? And if it's Scarfed, then it might mean that it's easier to deal with with Arcanine, but... Yeah, man, I just made some bad plays in this one. I think the thing I think the thing is, D-Ray called me out on every play that I wanted to make. I'm, and I'm trying to think this through here. Alright, let's just go for it. I think if I take... I think if I take out... I can't imagine this Melmetal Okoing me. And if that's the case, then I think I should always 2 KO this, this, this Melmetal with my Arcanine. Yeah. And this could be a Bandit Earthquake, which would be bad. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't Oko. And again, I just, I just have to be able to deal with, I don't know. It, it's leftovers. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And now, yeah, I don't think Arcanine has enough HP to, de to deal with the, the other two Mons, but the thing is, Serena comes in, it, it, um, a very reasonable set would be something like High Jump Kick, U-Turn, Rapid Spin, Power Whip. If that's true, then I could try to make a play on the High Jump Kick and switch into Dragapult, and then... And then, if I take out the Serena for free, then maybe I can make something happen, but it's going to depend on a lot. Goes into this. Okay, that's really interesting.
because if somehow this Arcanine is able to deal with this, if if Arcanine could could deal with this, no, I don't. Th I don't think I take two. I don't even take one. Yeah, no, that's fine. Ha Haunter beats me. That was a rough way to lose. I don't. Like I said, I got called out on so many plays, right? So, so not making the play into into my Dragapult on that high jump kick, that was brutal. Getting hit with confusion on my, on my Milotic, that was brutal. And there were just so many other plays that I just... I should have locked in a Fire Blast, probably. But this thing is Scarfed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um... And yeah, even... Yeah. There was a lot. I don't know. That's gonna be the week. I fall down at three and four. I it was this was a really frustrating way to lose. I, I just think I got called out on every play that I try to make. I'm just mildly salty because he obviously made every play that he had to make, but uh, it was just frustrating that I couldn't find any headway. It was just frustrating that um every time I attempted to, to make a play or, or expected something to happen, it just didn't work out for me. But that's just how some weeks go. Yeah, obviously, big shout outs to, 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 to D Ray. It was a really fun match. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the NCP as well as more weeks of the AP Academy and uh, more weeks of the TBL. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, out.